gonna do today is a little bit of review and some installation for the two types of tie down systems that we offer for your bike when hauling it around. Whether you're gonna be in the trailer or hauling it in your, uh, the bed of your truck, we have the perfect solution to uh, tying your bike down and taking it with you. The first system that we'll go over is our ratchet type assembly. Now with our ratchet type assembly, it has a brake strength of 2,500 pounds and a working load of 833 pounds. And then we have our cam buckle assembly. Our cam buckle assembly has the brake strength of 1,500 pounds and a working load of 500 pounds. We offer both systems in four different colors, whether you go with the black, the yellow, and then we also carry them in a red and a blue, kind of powderish blue. So just stand by and we'll go over some installation instructions. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is kind of walk you through the components of our straps. It is a three-piece system, but once you put the straps into the ratchets, it becomes one system. Um, going over the main strap itself, you have the black portion, which basically goes over the tank. The gray portions are what slip over your hand grips. Once you get that in, you kind of cinch it down. And then the ends, that's the part that you feed in like a regular ratchet strap. Feed that in. And then of course, just start ratcheting that down. There you go, that's assembly of the ratchet straps. Now the disassembly. Okay, so what we've done is we've went ahead and laid the strap out. We have our bike up on our trailer. Uh, we already have our ratchets put down to our mounting points. So however you're gonna mount yours in the bed of the truck or on your trailer, pick those mounting points. Go ahead and put those uh, um, with ours. You know, basically you're running this into your mounting point. We laid our strap over our bike and then we make sure that we spread this out whether you're on this side or this side, uh, so that they both clear the bar ends, so that whenever you're working on this, uh, you have the room to, to, to go. So the next step, once we get those fed through the ratchets, is go ahead and put the, the gray cuffs onto your grips. Once you get those split up there, you're just gonna pull down on the straps, and that's gonna take all the slack out of your rope. Make sure that the black piece is kind of centered across your tank or across your uh, the front part of your bike. 
And once you get that done, you're good. Now, some guys may wonder, or girls may wonder, well, what about the kickstand whenever I'm adding this system? That's your personal preference. Me personally, I leave my kickstand down. It's just that added security. But it's up to you on how you tie it down. So once I have those tight on there, I'm gonna pull this up, make sure it's kind of taut, and then I'm gonna start ratcheting this. Once I get a little bit out, then I'm gonna switch over to this side. Same thing, pull the slack out of it. Make sure everything's good to go, sitting right. You should always go back and forth, just making sure you're taking the same amount of slack out on both sides. Come behind your bike, make sure that your bike's sitting upright. If it's not, then that tells you what side you need to take it down on a little bit. As you can see, the bike ain't going nowhere. So that kind of wraps it up. Um, for the disassembly, basically, if you know how to use a ratchet strap, then you know how to use it. Um, like I said, I have my kicks down down, so I'm going to loosen the opposite side. up on the switch, pop it, and it's loose. Come over on the other side, pop it, loosen it, pull your cuffs out, and it's off. So, this is Brian from Lucky Bike. I hope you enjoyed the product. I hope we answered all your questions. If not, give us a call to our customer service and Eric will be glad to help you out.